Hello ladies and gentlemen, this is the Terrium Bestbolt and you're watching TGN. Welcome guys to another Sweet War Flashpoint guide. Today we're in Seimaimu, or however that is pronounced. I don't care, the important thing is TGB is in the house and I'm gonna show you how to get more loot and how to experience an epic adventure right here with clearing out all these separatists and their social adjustment drones. Seriously? Social adjustment drones? What do these things do? Give you a shock treatment every time you say beep? Oh well, why not? Why not? They should introduce that one to YouTube. <laughs> that would be a lot of shocking every day, every hour, every second. So watch out here. First boss of this instance, the dreaded elevator. So uh, don't fall down. It is a long way down to a... Well, swift drop and a sudden stop. Okay, here we go. Down here, another social adjustment drones and some separatists. And we are good, Sif. What do we do with separatists? Well, we separate them. Um, that is, we separate their heads from their buddies. So, another social adjustment drone going down. Specking a new skill like a boss. And now I'm losing my directions. Here we go. Behind that police car, over here, take down the next social adjustment drone and get moving towards the cantina. Well, if you want to be a real boss, you just go ahead, order a few Corellian ales at the cantina, just to see these Spec Ops troops coming down from the ceiling and well, you send them back where they belong, down under. So take down these separatist enforcers right here and take on that final social adjustment drone and that will mark the end of your tour in the cantina. Out we go again and another social adjustment drone later you decide that well walking is cool but on the other hand there is a terminal that can be repaired a security gate and that will allow you to do the good old thing and take the shortcut to success. You end up in this back alley and um, bash a few more faces in, take on another social adjustment drone like nothing else. Here we go. Some more loot and on we go again. And as always guys, of course, gameplay is sped up until we meet a boss, at which point we will resume with normal speed, of course. So regenerating a little bit more and then there is one thing to do and that is Jump in there, on the table, like a good Sith Lord. I truly am the Dark Lord of the Dance. <laughs> Just kidding though. So, again, tank as many of these guys as you can. There is no need for crazy crop control in this instance at this point. Just take him down. These enemies are not too dangerous, although, well... Just... Rather err on the side of caution than doing anything else. So here's our first boss, Officer Xander, and his big buddy, a big ass robot that will be walking around targeting one player, and that player does one thing and one thing only, and that is run away. Run away, little girl, run away. That big ass robot is very slow, so you can easily run away and keep DPSing, tanking, or healing whoever you are that is targeted. The rest of your team just takes down the officer. Nothing too crazy going on here right now, as you can see. Just me giving that guy a backhand slap. Ah, good times, good times. As you can see, our guy behind there is still running around with the big robot in chase. The lumbering hulk is too slow to ever catch up with him, so no problem there. Take down the officer and get some loot. There we have it. Heavy armor with aim. Seriously? Why is there no strength on it? Well, goodbye new chest armor. And let's keep going. Right hand side, that is the normal transport, but if you've got a slicer in your team, you take the police cab. Haha. <laughs> <laughs> Another shortcut in this cool flashpoint. So that means two shortcuts down. Here we go again. Over here, over the broken elevator, down there, and take down another trash pack on the right hand side. Also watch for the patrolling gold elite mob on the left hand side. He will most likely add if you're not quick enough, and then you just need to take him down. No big deal. 
As always guys, if you're wondering what kind of music is playing right now, um, just direct your eyes to the top right corner of your screen. Right now we're listening to Blue Starly High Heel Low Life. Oh yeah. Going down the right hand side, always taking out down these destructible containers. They can help you a lot actually, but make sure that always the tank takes down these destructible containers. Otherwise, well, you will get the aggro. The guy that does the damage gets the aggro as always. And watch out for this point here, you'll get jumped by a few separatists. You can skip this encounter altogether, you just wait until that robot has passed the left hand side and then move over to the elevator to encounter your next boss. So who is it? Who is it? There he is, a giant hairballed Wookiee with a flamethrower. Oh yeah, that looks like a safe working environment for me. Well, nothing too crazy going on right here, just make sure you don't stand in one line behind the tank, because if you do that, you will get grilled. At certain intervals he spawns four of these Agnold mechanics and, well, as always, no Einstein level Brainiac stuff required right here, just take him down, tank him and take him down. And uh, don't grill your teammates while you're at it. And there is the next wave of Agnauts coming in, so again, tank and spank. If you have enough area of effect damage, these guys are no challenge whatsoever. This is one of the uh, more easy, more relaxing bosses in this instance, but there will be more difficult stuff coming up real soon, you, sh you shall see. Well, the Wookiee is finally down, burst into flames, and there is a nice set of boots, medium armor with cunning on it. And here we go, up the stairs and through another line of defenders. In that case, a few mercenary veterans, a few snipers and mercenary gunners with their turrets that always have that pulsing knockback that oh so much gets on the nerves of your maliers, but there's nothing you can do about it, just tank him, get knocked back and get right back on him. There you go, take these guys down, another veteran and two more turrets in your way. At this point, these two turrets might bug out um, and evade, just, just don't care about it, just wait until that mercenary veteran arrives and at that point these two turrets should be functioning normally and functioning in a way that you can take them down without them resetting to full health. Uh, we've tried these three or four times uh, in different instances of course and it happened always on that spot so be prepared for that little bug to occur. And then there is the most difficult boss of all. It is the elevator boss and I fail horribly. Bam! Ouch! And if that's not enough, no it's not, I'm gonna slide down into the pit. Well, resurrected, ran back, checking my character, ooh, nice shiny lightsaber. Oh shit. Guys, I might be a little bit longer. Well, third time is the charm. There we go. Ah, I successfully navigated the elevator boss. Hang on a second. Oh, 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 oh. Get back to the elevator. Okay, stay on the elevator until it arrives at the bottom. Please remain seated. Do not unfasten your seat belts until the plane has landed. There we go. Finally, down here. Well, that was almost no challenge whatsoever. I hope you guys won't tell anyone. <laughs> Over here in this room, just take down the mercenary veterans. A few soldiers and snipers are also coming in. No big deal though, no gold elites whatsoever to worry about. Although, back there, two cannons. So, one very important thing as a milieu, don't stand at this side where Uzi is standing right now because. Boom! Down in the abyss. Goodbye. So, he's gonna be respawning and walking down towards us. <laughs> well, I told him so. You heard me, I told him so. So, 
Fun with the Abyss, oh yeah. Ah, taking some loot, sending my teammates or my squadmates on some missions, waiting for our fourth player to arrive. Dum de dum. Dum de dum. Okay, he's on his way, so we can go ahead and kill some more mercenary veterans. Yeah, just stick a knife in him and then just burn him. And off we go again, right into the fray, Sith Lord style. And guys, be aware that in this room, some of these mobs can actually bug out and bug through the bottom, which happens to us right now, as you see on the radar, there's that red dot, and that red dot guy is in the bottom of the room. We can't get to him, but if you move around a little bit, he will eventually surface. Another choice coming up. You've got a lot of missiles on your hands. You cannot abort the launch, so you have to decide whether you launch him on an uninhabited moon or at the rebel fleet. Well, I am a friendly Sith Lord. I just send him towards an uninhabited moon full of debris, junk, rocks, whatever. Well, I'd say that moon is history. Nice fireworks, though. And off we go again to the final boss of this instance. Here he is, hiding down there. General Orto. That guy has a little bit of knockback action going on, but that's not the biggest problem. The biggest problem is we are in a launch site and there is rockets above our heads. And the general will just go ahead and periodically heat him up. And um, the lower his health goes, the more he will heat up at a certain time. So first of all, he just heats up one rocket. Run away from that, otherwise if you stand under that thing, you will get a stacking fire dot on you that will kill you pretty quickly if you're not careful, so always keep moving, keep moving. Second rocket going off, as you can see, and the third rocket as well, so be prepared for that. Below 75%, you will get to see two rockets at once. Always watch for the white steam. There we go. Three rockets at once. Keep moving and stay out of the way of the flames because flames are hot and flames will hurt you. These are not the flames of revenge, these are not the flames of love, these are the flames out of the exhaust pipes of nuclear rockets. So keep moving. Ah, good old jizz just pounding on the general. He is a Mantellian war criminal. Well, that just means we can strike him down with impunity and even feel good about ourselves, even if we're Sith Lords. No problems with a guilty conscience here. Keep bashing on him and you will go ahead and loot great things. And of course, save the Empire, as always. But as I said in the beginning of this video, the most important thing that you guys will be looking for is loot. So, I wish you good luck with all the drops in this instance. And I wish you something else. I wish you the luck not to experience the bug that we are about to experience. Well, let's just say this bug is a burner. Well, the boss is down, I am getting fired for no reason whatsoever, 7 stacks, 8 stacks, 9 stacks, 10 stacks, goodbye TTB, burn to death, goodbye Dexes, and goodbye Uzi. This, I'd say, is unfair. Stealth fire from hell, and got killed again, well, no problem, let's just resurrect, okay? And we get killed again, <laughs> funsies, well, this is a bug if I've ever seen one. This is a giant bug straight from Clan Datu. Here we go, finally alive again. And now we can go ahead and loot some stuff. Thanks for watching guys. And I'll be seeing you in a galaxy far, far away. Bye bye.